Hi everyone, this is our first vlog together since after the games. It is um, one month. One month. You've been home One month tomorrow home? since I've been home and a nice change from the last couple of years where I didn't get home until today. Yes, yeah, normally Jeff will have been in Whistler for the month of March doing extra training. So having Jeff home on March 1st, even though that felt like a really long time, it was almost like an extra month at home. So we're pretty happy around here. So yeah. how's that been for you, being home? Busy, <laughs> very busy. The to-do list grew greatly over the last six months and I've been struggling with my typical, usual post-season, I call it the mental fog, where I can't quite screw my head back on and have to deal with the emotions and the letdown and the fatigue and, and the results and then come back into the family and try to figure out my role and my place here and how it can all work together. I think he's doing pretty well. Um, we have just returned from Edmonton and we did a book tour there at a number of chapters in Indigo Coal locations. And uh, a lot of people ask us, so why did you do Edmonton first? And actually, it's because our kids started spring break and we have family in Edmonton. And there wasn't that many dates available in Calgary at the bookstores on that weekend. So we decided to go do Edmonton, um, Edmonton first. And it was a really great, great response to our time. Yeah, great learning experience. Um, because Calgary's our hometown, it was, it was probably a good thing we went to Edmonton so we could give it a trial run. Yeah. And we learned a lot. We learned about who to market our book better to, uh, how to market our book a little bit better, and and how we can, how we need to generate the hype and the, the attention and the, the awareness, um, and that is going to drive book sales, not necessarily just getting our book into a lot of stores. So that was really great so that we can do a better job for the stores and, and for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank the media as well. The Edmonton media was fabulous. If you scroll through some of the rest of our blog, you'll be able to see some of the posts that I've put up there. We had uh, six media spots in five in one day and one on another day, so it was really hectic and it was great. So thank you to all the Edmonton media for being so welcoming to us. Um, we actually had the opportunity to do CBC Radio today. Uh, and that was our first half hour show on Alberta Wild Rose CBC Radio 1. Right, and that was really great. Um, really fun to do a half hour show when actually we took a call from a, a caller from Grand Prairie, I think it was. So I that was so, kind of yeah. neat. And, and it was really great to be able to talk for more than the usual five minutes or two minutes on a, on a, on a, uh, on a media spot. So it was, it was nice to kind of have a show. Maybe we'll have our own show in the future. But <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, that was actually one of the responses from uh, the host, uh, Barb. She was wonderful too, and thank you. Was uh, We got off air and she said, why aren't you two on Oprah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was a huge compliment, yeah, for sure. That's great. Um, that she thought our story was compelling and worth telling and that it is something that many people should hear. So thank you for that compliment. That is great. Um, yesterday, while we were Edmon in Edmonton and also driving home, was our 13th wedding anniversary. <laughs> so um, just celebrating it working was fine. Yeah. Together. Because at least we were together. Actually, that time in Edmonton is the most concentrated time Jeff and I have been together in the same place at the same time for almost a y year or two. Long time. <laughs> Long time. <laughs> and, and, and I have to say, um, I loved it. I loved it. I think we're a fabulous team and we work really well together. Yeah, we think so. Yeah. So, happy anniversary. Yes. And um, you might be seeing some photos. Um, well, I'm sure you're having a look at them now. This is what I do as a tradition on my anniversary is, um, you know, it's not many days that I have a thousand dollar dress. And I know some of you are laughing because a thousand dollar dress now is kind of laughable. <laughs> but that was my wedding dress. And it's my most expensive, most beautiful princess dress that I own. And yes, I did try and sell it, but it didn't sell. So I figured that was a sign. So every year on my anniversary, I wear my wedding dress around at least for a little bit of time. And my proudest moment this year is that it fits as well or better than it did on my wedding day. Yeah. So, yay! After two kids. After two kids, yes. So thank you so much for following us and keeping uh, interest in us. We will do our best to keep this blog updated. Please let us know your feedback. We're looking for feedback mm -hmm. uh, from either readers or listeners or any articles that you've seen on us. Go to marriageandmetals.com or any of these blog posts, including this one, and give us some comments. We would love to hear from you.
Yeah, let us know what you think of the book. We really are interested and we're hoping we're making an impact and we need to know how and why and maybe how we could do it better. Mm -hmm. That's it for us. Yes. Talk to you guys later.